fellow makeup fans, today I'm going to do my MAC Toledo haul or to give its full official long title, the MAC Isabel and Ruben Toledo haul. <laughs> um, when you get the packaging it actually just says MAC Toledo on it so it is technically just the Toledo collection. And the packaging is really, really cute on this. And what I like is, is that this time they haven't skimped on packaging. Now in the past when we've had packaging that have had the slip sleeve over the top of the actual box, it's actually been a standard MAC box underneath. And that's not what they've done this time. So that's actually really nice. Um, what we'll start with is something I got one item and then I got four of the lipsticks. And the one item that I got was the eyeliner. And the packaging is really snazzy. <laughs> Again, it is um, an over thingy imaging. I can't even remember what I was going to say. A sleeve. It is a sleeve. And it has the graphic sort of black and white pattern. And then underneath, you do have the MAC box, which is just white. And it says MAC Toledo. So that's quite nice. It's quite sleek packaging underneath. The eyeliner that I got is called Chlorophyll. And I just thought it was a really great colour. I've got a couple of MAC eyeshadows in Silly Goose and Bitter that are very similar colours to this and I really love the packaging on this. It says MAC Toledo on the lid and it's kind of funky. And then that is the colour of the eyeliner. So as you can see that is super super bright, really really pretty. And ooh, <laughs> I just love it. It's kind of a chartreuse colour. So. If anybody was hoping it was going to be neon yellow, sadly it's not. It's more chartreuse, but it's a really, really unusual colour, very unique. So I can't wait to wear that. It's a very spring, summer kind of colour. And then on to the lipsticks. I don't know what is going on downstairs. I really apologise if you can hear lots of running around. But I think Ripley's playing. <laughs> anyway, I've got one of the lipsticks on today. And there's a picture on my Instagram of me wearing this and if you follow me on Instagram I generally do just I wear my lipsticks and I tend to take photographs and put them on Instagram. Is there a picture of this on Instagram? There should be. <laughs> um, but yes I do tend to post quite regularly um, my face of the day kind of thing but really for me it's all about the lipstick because I'm a real lipstick girl. So we'll talk about the one that I'm wearing first. Now the packaging for the lipsticks is also really cute. It's this kind of fists with I don't know that reminds me of how I used to draw birds <laughs> anyway it's all eyes and it says Mac Toledo and then you've got the lips underneath there and again it's a slip case but the box itself underneath is very nice it just says Mac Toledo and then the great thing also is that inside the box it is actually patterned and I should have shown the, that on the eyeliner because that's patterned as well so that's actually really quite nice. I think that there's been a lot of attention to detail on this packaging. So the one that I've got on is Victoriana. Now I was going to send this one back. I was kind of toying with did I want to keep this one? Because I got the reds from this collection all except barbecue. So I've got three reds and they do look very similar. And to be fair, when I swatch them, they're going to look really alike on camera because I've tried swatching them and taking a photograph and they just look the same. In person, they don't look the same. Um, but they're all matte formulas, I believe. So let me check that this one is. Yeah, this one's matte. I think all of the reds were matte. And the packaging is this sort of rubberized. And it's got the face on. Now, what I'll say about this rubberized one is it's something, it's kind of, it comes to the bottom. But I don't, it doesn't cover the bottom. So... I do have a one where it's got a slight chunk of it missing and I've got the Pedro Lorenco has got a line in them where it must have dragged on something. So you do have to be very careful with this packaging. Yes, it's very nice. It's kind of rubberized. It feels very soft and kind of silky. It's very nice and it's very aesthetic. It's lovely. But in the long run, um, if you're going to be throwing this in your bag, then please do be careful because I think that it might damage quite easily depending on what it's actually up against. So that's something to bear in mind with the packaging. Um, but Victoriana is a very pretty colour. This is a pink red. Like I said, that is what I've got on. Which I just, I'm in love with this colour. And I looked at it and I was like, yeah, it's nice. I'm not sure I'm going to send it back. And then, I don't know, I was watching haul videos showing it. And I just kind of thought, no, do you know what? That looks really nice on. And my lovely friend Charlena here on YouTube, she always posts her face of the day and she, oh, she's magic with makeup. Her, her makeup is just 
flawless and it always looks amazing and I love it because I, she puts a picture up and I, I, I read all the details to see what she's got on and if something really stands out then I want to know what it is in case I want to get it as well but I always scroll down to the lips first <laughs> and have a look and see what she's got on her lips because she wears amazing lip products but Victorian is that one and she actually wore this um, on Instagram and it was like right no I need to keep it so I will swatch it that's that there so it's really actually nice and bright. It's a pink based red, but you can't see a lot of the pink about it. It's just a very, very beautiful, clean, bright red. So I'm absolutely thrilled that I've kept that. Anyway, the next one, which again is a matte, is Opera. And this looks like that. Is this the darkest? I can't quite remember. I'm not entirely sure. But again, I'll swatch it, but whether you'll see a great deal of difference in this. Ooh, I haven't took photographs. Hold on. <laughs> and actually, in person, that definitely is darker than Victoriana. Whether you're going to see that on camera or not is another thing, because I've noticed when people have shown swatches, they don't, they just look identical. So that bottom colour is this one, which is Opera. Like I said, on camera. Not so much of a difference, but Opera is definitely darker. Um, the next one is called Tenor Voice. This is said to be, I think, a bright, clean red. So, we shall see. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> again, you'll be like, what are you doing? You're swatching the same lipstick over and over again, but that is Tenor Voice. And it's definitely lighter than Opera and it is a bit more blue based than Victoriana. So in person, very different. Not very different, but definitely different. And then the last one is the one that sold out first. And this is actually a bit darker in person than I was expecting, but it is still a very pretty color. So I can't wait to swatch it. And this one is called Oxblood, which is a pink pinch. <laughs> this one is a peachy nude actually really really pretty coming off true to colour well they've all come off true to colour that is very pretty I can't wait to see what that one's gonna look like on because it is a very pretty peach very interesting and I don't think that I actually have any of the MAC matte colours in a pale colour like this so that's actually really nice because I don't really have any matte nudes and I really love MAC mattes for the most part I'd say 95% 95 that's yeah maybe that's a bit low maybe about 97% of MAC lips matte lipsticks are super creamy glide on long lasting totally raisin I've had this on since this morning I've had this on about six hours now and it's still looking great so yes, I think they're fantastic. And then you get the other little minute percent where they are very dry and do drag, such as Talk That Talk. And if you check out my MAC Dark Red Lipsticks, there's a couple in there that are really quite dry. But as long as you put a really good prime and base on underneath and you're willing to work at it and work it into your lips, they're fantastic. And it doesn't really bother me that I have to work a bit harder with a lipstick. I'm quite happy to do that if I love the colour. So again, Victoriana. Opera. Is that right? Yeah, tenor voice, oxblood. And I may get sin, which would be sinful, but I think I might need it. So that's it, guys. That's my Mac Toledo haul. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe as always. I've been Spacey's number one girl, and this is. I can never do that right anymore. I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. I've been Spacey's number one girl and this is the colour of my kiss.